Are you ready to grow your small business with email marketing activities? Well, Zoho offers a free email marketing platform as part of their giant suite of in-house business tools and apps. This is ideal for small teams, especially those that already leverage popular Zoho products to grow their business online. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to another business tutorial and for those that are visiting for the first time, thanks for joining me. Now today I'm excited to launch into this Zoho campaigns tutorial for beginners and share how you can use Zoho's email marketing software to grow and engage with your audience online through email marketing. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Zoho campaigns, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into email marketing with Zoho. <music> Okay, so to get started with Zoho campaigns, simply head over to your browser and type in zoho.com forward slash campaigns and that's going to take you here. Or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that will also take you to this landing page. Now, for the purpose of today's email marketing tutorial, I'm going to walk you through Zoho campaigns free plan. Now, this free plan is more than sufficient enough for small businesses, small teams that have under 2000 contacts and under five users. You can also leverage the basic email templates as well as the sign up and pop up forms. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, all of Zoho campaigns plans seamlessly integrate with all of the Zoho in-house tools that you can leverage to grow your business. So for example, if you leverage Zoho's CRM, you can seamlessly integrate your email marketing activities to funnel into your CRM. And again, Zoho offers many of their great features completely for free. And also before I forget, you can also download the mobile app for Zoho campaigns on iOS and Android. And the extensive app actually allows you to create and schedule emails from inside the app as well as measure your account's performance. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with a free account. So go ahead and sign up with Zoho campaigns and what we'll do is meet you inside your account. What I've done for the purpose of today's tutorial is already created a fresh account to navigate through. So go ahead, sign up and I'll meet you inside Zoho campaigns. Okay, so here we are inside our fresh Zoho campaigns account. Now, if I navigate up to trial expires in 13 days, this means we're currently on the 14 day trial for the paid plans. However, after the 14 days, you're going to be automatically downgraded to the free plan. And you can also upgrade to a paid plan at any time if you like. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is quickly navigate through our account so we understand where all the different elements and features are for us to access. Okay, so starting over on the far right hand side, we first have our account. Next to that we have the help center, then we have notifications, and then over here we can access our calendar as well as our folder, and then over here we can access our favorites. Then if we navigate over to the far left hand side, we can first search for specific data within our account. And then next to that, we can quickly create anything within our account. So this is a quick action. If we click here, we can navigate down and quickly create a campaign, SMS campaign, autoresponder, and more elements down here that we're going to cover in today's tutorial. Then if we navigate over to the left hand sidebar, we have our dashboard, which is currently where we are. Then if we navigate down, we have campaigns. If we click here, this is where we can create email campaigns, social campaigns and SMS campaigns. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're just going to focus on email campaigns. However, you can also connect your social media accounts and you can create and manage campaigns. So for example, a post that you wanted to distribute on Twitter and Facebook, you can create and schedule through the social campaigns. Below that we have SMS campaigns and this is where you can essentially engage in SMS marketing. So basically Zoho campaigns is not only an email marketing 
software, but you can also leverage social media marketing as well as SMS marketing. Again, we're not going to dive too much into social campaigns and SMS campaigns in this email marketing tutorial. However, if you're interested in learning more about these two features, make sure you leave a comment in the description below this video. Okay, so below campaigns we have contacts and this is where you can create your email list, you can manage segments as well as all your contacts. We can also navigate down and we can create a sign up form which is what we're going to dive into shortly and we can also manage our contact tags. Now below contacts we have automation. Zoho campaigns allows us to set up autoresponders as well as workflows. So these are email sequences. Again, we'll dive into this more shortly. And then below automation, we have e-commerce. Now, if you run an online store, what you can do is connect your online store with Zoho campaigns. And this is going to allow you to optimize your email campaigns for for example, conversions for abandoned carts. You can also bring your customers back to your store through email marketing, as well as set up automated email follow-ups. And this is useful for when a potential customer initiates your shopping cart, but they fail to actually purchase your product. Then you can set up automated email campaigns to essentially increase your conversion rates. Okay, so if we navigate back over to the left hand sidebar below e-commerce, we have library and this is where you can manage all your content. For example, images, your email templates, your workflow templates, form templates and attachments. So for example, let's say that you send out an email newsletter every week. In that case, what you want to do is create an email template for that newsletter email campaign so that you can simply just change the content. So again, this is where you can find all your content within Zoho campaigns. Now below library, we have reports and this is where you can essentially view important analytics in regards to your email marketing activities. Okay, so next, before we engage in email marketing, we need to create an email list. Now think about an email list as a group of your audience where you can send email campaigns to. And over time, what you can also do is build that email list. And you can also create multiple email lists or create segments within each of your email lists. So to get started with email marketing, we first need to create our email list. To do that, simply navigate up to contacts, click here, and then navigate down to manage lists. Then simply click on create list in the top right hand corner. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to create one email list. Now, if you run a small business, most likely you only need to create one email list and then you can further group your contacts through segmentation. Okay, so navigate over to name and name your first list. We're going to call this subscribers. However, you could name your list leads, customers, newsletters or subscribers, anything that you like. Then come down and click save. And this is where we have a few options for adding contacts to our new email list. So that's what we need to do. We need to add contacts to our new list. To do that, we can manually add contacts here. We can import our contacts if we already have a list, a database of contacts. And then next to that, we can create a sign up form that allows our contacts to join our email list via this web Form. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we're first going to get started with adding contacts manually. We can click this drop down and we can add multiple contacts manually or just one contact. I'm going to go ahead and click multiple contacts. And this is where we can manually add multiple contacts to our email list. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and add a few contacts before continuing with this tutorial. So go ahead and take your time to add your contacts. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and quickly added three example contacts to our email list. Now, if we navigate over to the far right hand side, we can choose to select multiple fields, which is what we have selected at the moment. Next to that, we can choose email address only if we just want to collect the email address. And then next to that, we can actually customize the columns. So if I click here, we can customize and organize the columns. Think about the fields, the data that you want to collect that is important for you. So at the moment, we have these fields selected. We can navigate down and we can select other important fields that we want to add and collect from our contacts. 
However, I'm happy with the default information. So what I'm going to do is navigate down. We can also go ahead and add additional contacts here. Then we want to come down and make sure that your contacts have given consent to receive emails relevant to your product. So make sure your contacts have given consent before adding them to your email list. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click yes, they have given consent and then come down and click add. And up here you can see that we now have three contacts as part of our email list. Now if I navigate over to contacts and then come down to manage lists again. Over here you can see that we now have two email lists. What I'm going to do is go ahead and select the email list I just created. And this is where you can see basic information about your email list. We can also navigate over to contacts to view the contacts that are part of our email list. And we can select forms to see which forms are part of this email list. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create a sign up form shortly. Now we can also navigate back and next to our email list that we just created, we can also navigate over here and quickly add contacts. We can also create an email campaign and we can also click more. And we have these basic options down here. Now, if I navigate back over to contacts, I can come down and I can click on segments. This allows you to organize your contacts within your email list. So for example, if we navigate over to create segment, I'm going to go ahead and create one segment and then navigate up to name and type in your segment. Think about how you want to group your contacts. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create one segment for country. So I'm going to go ahead and type in country. Then we need to add the criteria. So if I navigate over to none and click the drop down, go ahead and locate the correct field that you want to use to segment. So I'm going to navigate down and click on country and then navigate over to none and then come down to contains and navigate up here and add a country. So first I'm going to add US and this is just an example. So if a contact had US for the country field, then they will be added to this segment. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And as you can see, the criteria for a contact to be added to our segment is the country must contain US. And you can add multiple segments if you like, depending on the nature of your business and how you want to group your contacts within your email list. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back over to contacts and then come down to manage lists. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on subscribers which is our new email list and then navigate over to forms and then come down and create our first sign up form. Now we can also navigate over to contacts and come down and click on sign up forms to create a sign up form. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on create sign up form from our email list. Go ahead and name your new form. We're going to call this newsletter and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click tick. And as you can see, this form is associated with the email list subscribers, which basically means when a contact signs up to this sign up form, they're going to be added to our subscribers email list. You can also change that here, then simply navigate down to choose template and you can simply choose the type of sign up form that you want to create. Over here, we can choose to create an embedded form that we can then embed onto our website. Next to that, we can create a pop-up form and this could be a pop-up form on our website. And next to that, we can access our library of saved templates. These are templates we've created in the past. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to keep compact forms selected. Then down here we have the option to select a pre-made sign up form. So these are professionally designed templates that we can choose and then customize the way that we like. So go ahead and choose a template that best represents the type of form that you want to create. I'm going to go ahead and select this template over here and come down and click use template. And now we can start customizing this template sign up form. To do that, simply navigate over your sign up form and you can click on each of these different elements. So for example, if I wanted to change this text here, all I would do is click here and that's going to generate the content over on the left hand side, as well as these formatting options down here. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and change this text and I'm happy with the new text content and I'm also happy with the formatting options down here. So I'm going to navigate up to back and I have the option to click on any of these elements on the left hand side as well as actually on our sign up form. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to page body and click here and I'm going to change this background image by clicking change 
and I can simply go ahead and upload a new background image. But what I'm going to do is navigate down and cancel out of that and then navigate back. I can also come down to the import field and I can customize the first name form field over here. But I'm happy with this default information so I'm going to go back and then we have the import field email. We also have the button sign up down here and I'm going to go ahead and change the background color of this button. I'm happy with that blue and then I'm going to navigate up to text and type in join newsletter. And then down here I'm going to quickly go ahead and change the width and then the height slightly. And I'm happy with my button so I'm going to navigate back and then click on setup. And down here we want to make sure that the first name, the name field, is mapped correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and select first name. And then once you've customized your new sign up form, simply navigate up to preview to preview what your form will look like. You can also change the template. You can reset the form, save the form and save and proceed. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click save and proceed. And then down here we have the option to edit our design again. Below that we can preview our sign up form. Then down here we have the associated email list which is subscribers. Then below that we have an associated topic that we can add if we like. And then down here we have the sign up form URL. Now this is the URL that you can add to your different social media channels. You can use to send in an email or you can simply send this link to potential contacts via different channels. And then your potential contacts can simply click on this link. That's going to take them to this sign up form where they can sign up to your email list. Then down here you can also embed your form onto your website. I recommend getting in touch with your web developer if you want to embed these forms onto your website. Now we can also customize the pages and emails to be sent in response to the form submission. So for example on submission new contacts will be redirected to the sign up thank you page and then down here on confirmation contacts will be redirected to a confirmation thank you page and you can customize each of these different elements. You can also preview what they look like over on the right hand side. Simply navigate up to edit response. Now we can also navigate up to more actions and we can duplicate this form. We can also save as a template or we can delete this sign up form. Okay, so that is how you can simply create forms to capture your contacts and build your email list. Now what we want to do is create and customize our first email campaign. To do that, simply navigate up to campaigns over on the left hand side, click here and then click on email campaigns. Or you can click on this quick action up above and then click on email campaign. Then here we have a few options because this is a beginner's tutorial. What we're going to do is go ahead and click on regular email and click create new. Go ahead and name your new campaign. We're going to call this newsletter one. Then come down and select a topic. We only have one topic at the moment, which is marketing and then click save and proceed. So this is going to be our first email campaign, our first newsletter that we're going to send to our email list. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and proceed. Then come down and add a subject line. We're going to go ahead and click on add subject. And this is the first line of text that your contacts will see before they open your email. And you can also navigate over to the right hand side and you can add an emoji. You can also personalize your subject line. For example, you can add the contacts first name and contacts last name. And therefore each of your contacts will see their first name in your subject line. However, I'm happy with this basic subject line for now. Then come down and add a pre-header. This is a piece of text that follows your subject line. Here you want to explain your email. Then when you're happy with your subject line and your pre-header, simply come down and click on save. Then go ahead and add sender details. Basically what name and email do you want your contacts to see when they receive an email from you? For example, sender name could be either your name, it could be a marketer's name within your organization, or it could be the organization's name itself. So I'm going to go ahead and add Sendio Media which is the name of our business. 
I could also go ahead and add my name too. And that way the contact knows that this email is coming from Stuart who often sends email campaigns as well as from the organization Cindio Media. Then come down and add your email. It's also recommended that you authenticate your email domain to improve the email deliverability. Basically what this means is if you do not authenticate your email domain, then your email might not even arrive into your recipient's inbox or it could be sent to their spam folder. So to improve the email deliverability so that your email arrives into your recipient's primary inbox, you want to authenticate your email domain. Then come down and click save. Then go ahead and add your recipients. This is where your email is going to be sent. We're gonna go ahead and choose our email list that we created, and we're gonna select our subscriber email list and then click save. Now, if your contacts are not associated with any topic, what you wanna do is come down and map contacts that are associated to the marketing topic. So basically, your emails that you added need to be associated with a particular topic. Then when you've added your recipients, remember you can either add single contacts or your email list as well as segments that you've created. Then when you've added those details, simply come down and click on create content. Now we can start creating and customizing our email campaign. To do that, we can select a save template. We can choose a pre-made designed template or we can choose a basic template. Now, if you run a small business or you're a creator, an artist, or some form of sole trader where you operate your business by yourself, then maybe what you want to do is select plain text editor. And this is for those that want to create a more personal email rather than a visually engaging email template with images, logos, and other elements. These types of email templates are more ideal for larger businesses or organizations with a small team and they want a more corporate feel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on pre-designed templates, then go ahead and navigate through all the different pre-made email campaign templates and select one that best works for the type of email campaign that you want to create. So I want to create a newsletter, so I'm going to go ahead and select this email newsletter over here and come down and click on select template. And that's going to generate the email template as well as the editor. Now, if you navigate over your email campaign, you'll notice that each of these different elements will be highlighted. You can customize each of the different elements on your email template. So for example, if I navigate up to the top and let's say I wanted to change this title text, what I can do is simply click here and that's going to generate these formatting options up above. Then over on the left hand side, again, you can see these text properties. So what I'm going to do is navigate over here and change this text to my business name. I'm also going to navigate down and click on this text element here. And again, I'm going to change this text. And I'm happy with that. What I'm also going to do is format that. I'm going to add bold and then make the text slightly larger. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to come down and replace this image by simply navigating over to the left hand side and clicking on change and then uploading my own image. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, I've just gone ahead and uploaded the thumbnail of this video to use in this email campaign. And as you can see, that's going to replace the default image with my own image. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, we can change the size. We can also add a URL. So if a contact clicks on this image, that's going to take them to a web destination. But I'm happy with that, so I'm going to come down and click on Done. Then if I navigate up here, you can see I have a logo. What I'm going to do is click on that. And then over here, I can go ahead and change the logo if I like. And then I have these formatting options down here. But what I'm going to do is navigate over to this gear icon, come down and click on Delete. And then Delete again to remove that logo. Now if I navigate down the page, I can click on this button here. And then I could navigate over to this bit of text here and change that to get started with the Zoho today. And then down here, I want to add a link to this button. So if a contact clicks on this button, that's going to take them to Zoho. And then I can choose if the URL is open in a new window or the same window. I want to make sure that I have a new window selected and I'm happy with that button up here. So what you want to do is take the time to navigate through your email campaign and customize all these different elements. Now, what we can also do is navigate down and click on done. 
And then we have these other different block elements that we can simply drag and drop into our email campaign. So for example, if we wanted to add another image, all we would do is click on image and then I can drag this image and I can place it to a specific location on my email campaign. For example, if I want to drop that image in there, then I can, and I can also go ahead and upload an image. And then I have these options down here. But what I'm gonna do is quickly go ahead and delete that element and go ahead and click delete again, and then click done. So if I navigate back up to the top left hand corner and click on back, we have all these different elements that we can add to our email campaign. We can embed a YouTube video if we want, we can add another image, we can add text elements, text and image elements. We can also add social media icons for our contacts to follow our social media pages. And then we have more down here. So as you can see, it's incredibly easy to create and customize your email campaign. Now, if we navigate over to layouts, this is where we can add specific layouts to our email campaign. So for example, if I like the look of, uh, let's say this element here, I can simply drag and place that on my email campaign to the right section. And as you can see, that's gonna generate these two columns. We can upload images, we can also change the title, we can add a paragraph, and we can customize the buttons down here. Again, what I'm gonna do is delete that, and then navigate up to design. So remember you can add elements, you can add layouts, and you can also play around with the design. You can change the inner color, outer theme, the outer color, you can change the template width, the outer border size, and outer border color. However, I'm happy with this pre-made template, so I'm gonna leave the default template as it is. And then up here you can see that our changes have been saved automatically. We can also undo and redo, and then if we navigate over to preview and test, this is where we want to preview our email template and we also want to test the email template to make sure that it looks responsive across different devices within our contacts email inbox. Then if we navigate over to the far right hand side and click here, we can also save this email campaign template to our library to use in the future. Now because this is a newsletter, we're going to send this newsletter once every week. So we want to keep this structure of this email template the same and that way we can simply upload the email template from our library and then just change some of the content so go ahead and save your email template to the library if you like then navigate over to proceed and then if we navigate down here we have the option to send this email campaign immediately we can also send the campaign later so we can send now and we can also send in batches. When you're ready to send your email campaign, simply come down and click send. Now, if we scroll down further, it's important to note that if you see a error over here, that means there's a change that you need to make on your email campaign. For example, invalid URL. So they've found a invalid URL on this email content. So what I wanna do before I send this email campaign is make sure that I have zero warnings over here. You can also navigate down here and add a header and footer. And it's as simple as that to create and send an email campaign within Zoho campaigns. Now, if we navigate down to settings in the bottom left hand corner, we can navigate up to users and control and we can add additional users to our Zoho campaigns account. Remember with the free plan, you can add up to five users. However, that's including the admin. Then we can also come down and we can integrate Zoho campaigns with other apps and we can also view the marketplace and integrate Zoho campaigns with other platforms. Over on the left hand side, you can customize your email campaign header and footer as well as sign up pages and emails and custom fields. Then you have your general information up here. However, that is essentially everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial helping you get started with Zoho campaigns. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Zoho campaigns tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this email marketing platform, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.